Welcome back to One Nation. Glad you're here. You know, it's become clear to me that the world is on fire. And never before in modern American history have we needed a true leader more than we do right now. Why? Because our enemies are not only emboldened, they're bonded. Example, Iran reestablishing diplomatic relations with Saudi Arabia, looking to strengthen ties with the UAE, while suddenly becoming blood brothers with Russia and China, who spent last week having Iran proxies shelling our troops. Where is the American power? Where's the American pride? Those three countries together are going to be problematic for many years to come, I think, especially Russia and China because of their capability. Well, what are we doing about it? Which leads me to Russia, unlawfully blowing up our drones in international airspace. And we show them how strong we are by changing flight paths to stay out of their way. I repeatedly asked Secretary Austin if we had changed the airspace in which we were flying these drones over the Black Sea. He repeatedly dodged the question. I take that as an admission that we have altered it. Weak. And to show even how little regard the Kremlin has for our nation, Russia has done something they haven't done since the Cold War, back in the 80s. They arrested an American reporter from the Wall Street Journal on laughable espionage charges. Another enemy in Bolden, China. The truth about the Chinese balloon came out this week, and it wasn't a decision to let it fly across our country. It was actually worse. There was no decision for five days. The intel community made me aware on the 27th. Did you ever speak with Secretary Austin about this balloon? I spoke with Secretary Austin on the 1st of February. Really? Five days? If there's anything as vital as our physical security, it has to be energy. It's got to be trade. And that's why the pressure was on Biden's interior secretary, Deb Holland, especially now. And it could not have been clearer that she is not up for the job. She has never been qualified. Are you aware that China produces more emissions than any other, co any other country in the planet? I have probably read that somewhere. Have you read the Department of Interior report on critical minerals dated December 17? I have not read that full report. Thank you for that information. Are you aware by multiple studies that in order to satisfy the present requirements of EV and critical minerals of defense, it would take an increase of 2,000 percent of mining for 20 years? Are you aware of that? Thank you for the information, Congressman. In Washington, you can feel the tension boiling over. Let's look at our own borders, north and south, both wide open. Millions are flowing in and drugs are flooding in. Secretary of Homeland Security Alejandro Mayorkas can't even seem to answer a yes or no question. Do you know how many of the 600,000 gotaways were terrorists, yes or no? Senator, we are focused on this. What are these wristbands? I don't know what they are. You Senator. don't know what they are. Mr. Secretary, you have just testified to the American people you're incompetent at your job. The drug cartels, every color corresponds to how many thousands of dollars they owe the cartels. You have turned these cartels into multi-billion dollar criminal organizations. He's not exaggerating. And it's really not their fault. Because the incompetence of this administration comes from the top down. Seeing the gains China has made in Africa. We sent our vice president to make inroads, to push back. You could probably guess how that went. There are a number of things on the issue of the economy as a whole that we must do. A lot of that work is the work that I'm here to do on the continent. You feel better? When it comes to leadership at the top, another remarkable, unspeakable school shooting took place. The commander-in-chief, Joe Biden, makes yet another mistake by going with his instinct instead of staying with the script laid out right in front of him. My name is Joe Biden. I'm Dr. Joe Biden's husband. And I ate Jenny's ice cream, chocolate chip. I came down because I heard there was chocolate chip ice cream. By the way, I have a whole refrigerator full upstairs. You think I'm kidding? I'm not. Does it seem like a good time to practice your stand-up comedy? The crazy thing is, there were no comments yet about the school shooting until the ice cream jokes, which were never funny. Looking at the overall coverage, you would never think that America was experiencing such a lack and lapse of leadership, more crisis than you can record. But I found some solace on Spotify. It's true. We're not alone. The media has lost its hold over the narrative. Now the media conveniently leaves out anything 
that it doesn't want to be at the front and center. All it is is like, January 6th. January 6th. Did you see what they did? January 6th. Trump is coming back. How about the fact that the guy who's the president right now can't form a sentence? He makes up words and stumbles through things. And no one says a thing about it. Yeah, we do. Is America going to survive two years or six years of this current regime? Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.